Hey you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. This is a rant video, because so many of you have asked for it, that you want to get me real spun out. So, <laughs> you get your rant video, see? Because I'm real, I'm real spun up about something. I talked about this on my vlog last night. I just got done uh, carving a pumpkin. How to carve the perfect pumpkin is over on my review channel if you want to go check it out. But before I get into this video, let me do a, a booger check and make sure there aren't no hairs on my boobaliciouses over here. Okay. People ask for these rant videos all the time. The thing is, okay, that if I do something real serious, people are like, why are you so bent out of shape about this? And if I do something real stupid, people think the same thing. So people are people, I guess. But anyway, um, but I was talking on my blog last night. I was trying to think of something to do. See, this is what I'm talking about. It always is like this. Look, okay, this is the problems of a YouTuber. It's like this. It's just, what is that? And that's not pretty. Not at all. Okay, so anyway, I was talking on my blog last night. I was trying to think of something to do a rant video about. And I was thinking, well, what am I, like, what am I real pissed off about, you know? And it kind of turned into this thing when I got off my blog. I was like, yeah, yeah. Like, do you ever get like that? Like, you're having a conversation at dinner, and then you leave, and then you're driving home. By the time you get home, you just want to, like, hit something. You're so pissed, you know? That's how I was. Well, it started off me talking about this Papa Murphy's pizza. Y'all, if you got a Papa Murphy's pizza, I'm spitting places, I'm so pissed. Anyway, do y'all have a Papa Murphy's pizza where you live? This is the stupidest gig in town. I do not understand this, okay? Now, back in the day, my mother, she tried to cheat me, okay? She would say to me, you wanna get a pizza on a Saturday night? You know what that meant for my mom? She was so cheap. That meant a tombstone pizza, okay? Tombstone pizza. That's what getting a pizza meant to my mom. I didn't, in a Shasta, and a Shasta or a Fanta, okay? We didn't even get no real pop in our house, okay? A tombstone, probably generic something. And, uh, you know, you were lucky if you got the pepperoni on there. This is gonna lead into what I'm talking about later. So anyway, then I would start going over to friends of mine houses later, you know, and like we would have like uh, sleepovers and stuff. And uh, then their parents would be like, we're ordering a pizza. And I'd be thinking, oh my God, I love that tombstone so much. And you know what it would be? We would get us a, a, a Pizza Hut pizza. They didn't have Papa John's back in the day. Pizza Hut pizza or Noble Romans. Do you remember that? Now, I live in Indiana and true story, it is a conspiracy that every Noble Romans that is in Indiana is owned by the mob. I don't know if that's true. I haven't seen a whole lot of mobsters in the cornfields of Indiana, but I think it makes a good story. So anyway, but um, that would be the pizza. We would get Noble Romans or we'd get Pizza Hut back in the day or uh, Domino's. Domino's tastes like cardboard, cardboard, blah, 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 blah. Oh, cardboard, doesn't it? it? It tastes like junk. I can't stand that Domino's pizza, but they do have that cinnamon stuff that I kind of like. But anyway, I'm all about the desserts, okay? Wherever you go, you got to get the dessert. Why not? You only live once. So anyway, but I started going over people's houses and we're, people are calling me. I'm trying to do a rant video. Shut up. That's why I go to a parking lot now because when I drive over there, I'm doing it. People are driving by and trying to say things to me. It's just so irritating. It's so hard to be a YouTuber these days. Anyway, so we, I go over to people's houses, you know, and then they start ordering pizzas and then I go home and then my mom should try to pull the cheat on me again and she'd say, do you want to get a pizza? I'd be like, oh, no, 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 not that tombstone pizza. And over there, they have the Dr. Pepper, the Mountain Dew, and the Coke. We were up till three o'clock in the morning rolling dice on Monopoly boards. My mother, she wasn't having it. She's like, you're lucky if you get a Fanta. Anyway, Fanta now, they got the singing and the dancing and the commercials and it looks real fun. It still, still tastes like shit, doesn't it? So anyway, okay. But that was how my mom tried to pull the trick on me back in the day. Well, today, you know, when you go over to people's houses, people are always wanting to order pizza. So I was talking about this last time on my vlog, because my cousin, Caroline, she's always wanted to order that Papa Murphy's pizza. Have you ever heard about this before? Tastes real doughy. It's it's nasty. Don't do it. Just don't, okay? This is the thing. This is kind of a review, but I don't really care. I think I've had it maybe once in my life, because I was over at my cousin Caroline's house, and she got that Papa Murphy's pizza. Now, do you know the trick with this Papa Murphy's pizza? It ain't even real, like, delivery pizza, okay? What it is, is they make the pizza, basically, and you put it in your oven. Who care? My oven burns everything anyway. I don't want to have to cook a pizza. I want the pizza to come deliver. That's what I want. I, half the time I go there because I get so many damn sauces from the Papa John's. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But I go to the Papa John's, I'm like, if they screw up my sauces, I'm going to be done because I am all about the condiments. Condiment queen right here, okay? I like my ranch. I like my garlic sauce, special sauce, the cheese sauce. And my husband, he dips everything in marinara. It doesn't matter if it's chicken wings or pizza. He dips everything in marinara. Why do I have a seatbelt on when I'm sitting in a parked car? Anyway, so people always want to order pizza. Well, my cousin, see, look, okay, uh, there's stuff. I hate that up on my boobalicious. So anyway, I shouldn't even say that. I need to lose some weight so I get rid of them boobaliciouses. Okay, but anyway, so I am, you know, 
like my cousin ordered the Papa, Papa, Papa John's, Papa Murphy's pizza. Now, how is that even the legal? How is that the legal? How is that even legal? There's Papa Murphy's and Papa John's. Do they know each other? Are they brothers? I don't know. I'm confused. So anyway, I, but I've only had that Papa Murphy's like once, I think. Okay, enough to know I didn't need it again. It was real doughy. It was nasty. It didn't feel cooked right, right? Because they don't own it. Because they say you cook it in your own oven. I just went to the website to make sure I was right about all this or if it changed. Nope, same thing. They make and they're like, oh, we do all the fixings for you. I was like, who'd care? I'd rather order a pizza from Papa John's anyway. But now we used to always, now, my favorite was, back in the day, they uh, had the Taco Bell Pizza Hut. Do you remember that? I love that so much. I get nachos bel grande and a little, uh, one of those little mini pizzas and breadsticks, and I was set for the night. That was the, that was the life back in the day, okay? I was, I was living. But they don't have that anymore. What's that called? A Pizza Bell? I think it's called a Pizza Bell. It's like when Kentucky Fried Chicken, it also has like another, that, they used to have the buffet. That's a whole different story, but I did love the buffet at the Kentucky Fried Chicken. So anyway... So, uh, but my friends, okay, I like to get, I like Papa John's, don't get me wrong, but only if I have the right sauces, and I do not want to have to split a pizza with five people, okay, because then they want this on it, and they want that on it, I'm a vegetarian now, so basically I can't have anything but vegetables anyway, it's just real boring, right, so anyway, they always want to get them, well, now let's get into this conversation, because my friends, they always wanted to back in the day get Pizza Hut, now at Switch, they always want to get Papa John's because there's a deal, right, that's a trick right there, okay? That deal at Papa John's. It's like two pizzas, and they say it's like $15, and then you go there to pick it up, and they're like $39.95. And I'm like, how did my pizza that was two for $15 end up $39.99? You're not going to sit there and go, well, I don't want the pizzas now because you said they were $15. They're now $39.95. It's a trick, see? All this pizza shit is just a trick. It's just straight up a trick is what it is, okay? Well, they're like, well, you had 14 sauces at a dollar a piece. <laughs> A sauce is a dollar. Why aren't sauces free? I was just talking about this the other day with the chicken nuggets. I don't even eat chicken nuggets because I'm a vegetarian. But when you go through the McDonald's, now you only get like one or half a cup of, I don't know, some sauce in there. They're, they don't even have good sauces anymore. It doesn't matter. But anyway, so listen, this is what the trick is, okay? My husband likes a cheese pizza, but he wants it all to himself so he can take the rest of it to work the next day. Now, this is where y'all are going to come for me, okay? And I don't really care because you're wrong anyway. I like pineapple on my pizza. There. I said it. I own it. Okay? Bunch of y'all freaks out there think that pineapple on pizza is nasty. Have you ever had it? Have you ever been to Hawaii? <laughs> That's what they do over there, I think. I don't know. I just started it years ago. I got pineapple and sausage on my pizza. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. I love it. Well, none of my friends want it. They think it's gross. They just go, ooh. I'm like, how is pineapple on pizza gross? I don't even make any sense, okay? Anchovies on pizza. Yeah, that's disgusting of the world. What? Okay, but you, you're okay with all this other weirdo shit up on a pizza, but then you're weirded out by pineapple? So then now I'm a vegetarian, so I got to get pineapple and onion. It's pretty good, though. Have you ever had it? It is. It is so good. I love the pineapple on the pizza because it's kind of the mix between the salty and the sweet you know see i had it figured out long ago now you get those m m you know granolas and stuff and they got the sour and the sweet and all see they're trying to trick you again but they got it all from the pizza places back in the day so anyway i always get my pizza and then my husband gets because i'll get like pineapple and onion sometimes i get green sometimes i get real like the green onion the much i get real greedy right okay that's too much then it's like you're eating a salad on a pizza no nobody want to do that okay but then my husband he gets to, you know and then i get the garlics i get you get one with each pizza okay 15 slices of a pizza for one of those little cups from papa john's what that is junk right there, okay? So anyway, so I order like four more of the garlic sauces and then like two ranches, two cheeses, because of course we have to get breadsticks, right? The largest order in the world. Then my husband always wants to get the chicken nibbles or whatever they're called, you know? And then we have to get the dessert, dessert and we go in there and it's like 57, 54. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh, and we got had to get, you know, a, uh, one of those two liter of pops kind of thing, right? Which my husband, they only ever at Papa John's have Pepsi products, which I think are nasty anyway. And then my husband always just wants to get regular Pepsi, which tastes to me like flat Coke. I can't stand it, okay? So anyway, everybody in the world wants to come to me for this pineapple pizza, and I can't stand it. And the, the trick is, with all of this, it's all these pizza places. Like, I like Donato's pizza. I really do. That flat, it's the world's flattest pizza in the entire world. Oh, now they got all these fancy places. I don't know how it is. I live in Indianapolis. They got all these fancy restaurants. There's this one my husband loves. It's called Napoli's, okay? And they make this pizza, and it's like real gourmet. And you go there, and they have like olives. It's like hors d'oeuvres and all this kind of stuff. And you get a pizza, and the pizza's like $39.50. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? For a 
pizza that I could have sat at home and made or called Papa Murphy's and they could have delivered and I put them in my own oven like I ever would. The most expensive gourmet pizza. Who cares? It's so stupid. What a waste of money. If you're going to get pizza, just get pizza like order it up at Papa John's. But anyway. True, true story right here, okay? We always go to our friend's house for pizza, and they're like, well, what do you want to get? And I'm like, oh, and then I have to always go along with everybody else, right? What's your favorite pizza? I'll tell you what my favorite pizza is right here, okay? True story. You don't get no sauces, but it's worth your money. Those Totinas, Tony's pizzas, whatever they're called, you know what I'm talking about? Ten for ten dollars up at the grocery... Well, I was going to say the Marsh, but the Marsh doesn't exist anymore. Up at the Kroger or the Meyer or the Walmart. Ten for ten dollars, okay? Those are the best pizzas in the entire world. Get you a bag of 45 uh, pizza rolls. I love those pizza rolls. Get that pizza roll. Dip it in some ranch. Dip it in some nacho cheese. Why wouldn't you? It's so delicious. Dip it in that. It's better than getting a pizza from, pizza from Papa John's anyway that you got in the refrigerator. I always say, this is what I always say, right? I'm going to get a large pizza because then I can make it last three days. No, ma'am. At three o'clock in the morning, I can't sleep knowing that damn pizza is down in the refrigerator, okay? Calling my name. And then I put the sauces in the refrigerator too. So then the sauces are all like cold and shit like that. I'm trying to warm them up in the microwave. Then my husband hears me and he goes, are you getting that pizza down there? Yes, I'm getting that pizza down there. I can't fall asleep knowing that pizza's in the refrigerator. And then I finish the whole pizza in one night because I'm a fatty, see? And that's what happens, okay? So I'm all over. I'm never getting that Papa Murphy's pizza. I don't care if it's his sister or his brother of a Papa John's or what, okay? Pizza Hut, I can't even find one in this town. They're not anywhere. The pizza Bell, they're gone. Do nobody ever wants Donato's. I don't know why, because I think you go in there and you have to get like a sa like a salad or uh, they have sandwiches in there too. Who'd care? Nobody goes to a pizza place for a sandwich. Seriously? So anyway, and I'm sitting here saying that. I'm thinking to myself, well, we always go to this one pizza place and I get to Popeye, so I guess that's not true. But anyway, but I do I do like this place's pizza, but I like their, it's called Quattro Formaggio. It's so good, but it has bacon on it. I can't have that. If I can't have what I want, well, then I just go with something totally different. Don't you? It pisses me off all day long. Anyway, this pizza business, it just, my, my mother, she just set in motion something for me. I'm telling you right now with that whole, like, tombstone pizza thing. She pissed me off. Oh, to this day, I, I roll by that tombstone pizza in the grocery store. I'm like, oh, not today, tombstone. You're not getting me today. I'm going right over to that Totino's pizza and a bag of the pizza rolls. That's what I love. Those pizza rolls, oh, don't get me started on those Lean Cuisine pizzas. Have you ever had it? And then you got a full, have you ever seen it? If you've been on a diet like me, you've tried it because you're like, oh my God, I just give anything for a piece of pizza. And then Lean Cuisine tells you you could have the whole pizza, but the whole pizza is about that big, right? And about that thin. It's like thinner than like three pieces of paper. True story. And you got to fold the box and put the metallic thing on top. And then it's folding over in the microwave and all the cheese is melting. It's just a bunch of junk, isn't it? I hate it. Oh my God. But true story, I am kind of hungry for pizza right now. All this talk, talk about pizza makes me really hungry. I do love pizza. Do you guys like pizza? Oh, I think I might have to go get some, but not that Papa Murphy's. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this rant. Let me tell, put in the comment section below what your favorite pizza is and what pizza you will. You you all should rant a little bit. Feels a lot better. It does, okay? It's come to Jesus moment, truly. Rant a little bit in the comment section below and say what pizza you cannot stand, okay? I would love to just see it just threaded with Papa Murphy's down there below. Anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.